everybody uh, this is Ken again with X mods shooting another video so as always so this video is going to be uh, repairing a, uh, a PS2 uh, we're just gonna repair the uh, the actual uh, DVD drive in it so yeah this could be kind of like a longer version of some of my other videos so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it anyways let's get started so the uh, first thing we want to do is we're gonna flip the console over already took the liberty of taking the uh, expansion uh, or hard drive bay whatever you want to call it taking that cover off um, so pretty much you need like a like a flathead screwdriver and uh, the first thing you want to do is remove these uh, rubber feet so you're gonna have a, a bunch of rubber feet and some of them have uh, some consoles have 10 screws some are eight screw systems um, I think this particular model is a uh, yeah SCPH 3901 or 39,001 model so yeah it's uh, pretty good so you know, uh, the only thing I don't like about these models is they have a lot of uh, interference with uh, when you turn on the console with the with the uh, AV cables and stuff. And I have two of these. This one I bought because the you know I'm, I'm always, I was assuming that the power supply is going to be good, which it is. I already already uh, blew the dust out of it and kind of tested the power supply already. So you know uh so it should work pretty good um yeah my other one the i stuck a hard drive in it uh and the hard drive was something wrong with it and kind of took out a trace on the on the power supply so um i guess it was drawing too much power so that section of the board didn't work so i so i decided to pick up this one um so yeah, um, kind of kind of tools you need. I'm using a uh, a screw kit or not a screw kit, but a, dr a driver kit. Um, got this at Harbor Freight for probably I don't know ten bucks. Um, Harbor Harbor Freight tools are not bad unless you you know if you go with the Pro line, you're not going to have many difficulties. I'm, I'm just trying to find a big enough screwdriver so I don't have to go out to the garage or screw a driver bit. So, and I'll apologize in advance if this video is too long. This is going to be probably my longest video because I usually just, you know, in the past would just fix a console and then um, kind of give you a summary of what I did. So hopefully, hopefully I don't want to go out to the garage, but okay, I can just use, this is a uh, precision computer drive, a driver, a screwdriver, and got this at like Ace Hardware for like 20 bucks, but it came with a bunch of tips. So I probably wouldn't normally spend that much, but it had a, a cool name for a screwdriver, so I thought I'd give it a try. And honestly, it's probably it's probably not that great of a screwdriver. Well, it does a job. It's just you know I I don't use it on anything you know mechanic related I just use it on electronics so you know you kinda you kinda want to keep your screws organized so 
So the longer ones go over here, you know, towards the uh, by the controller ports. I'm sure there's the longer ones. I don't know, it's been a while since I took uh, one of these apart. It's probably been a couple years. Or a year, at least a year. But yeah, this one does read this. It just, it labors when the, the, draw, the drawer comes out. So once I get this all apart, I'll demonstrate for you guys. And sometimes, see, uh, there's hidden screws over here. I just pop along the this and a beveled, beveled edge. So sometimes you have fake feet, and sometimes you have real feet. Uh, this one might be the ten screwer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's only eight screw. I know it might seem ridiculous to count, <laughs> but so it's all right when you hear it kind of crack a little bit. Usually they put like a, a Loctite, a Loctite on them, so there's like a little little bit of blue stuff on the end you probably can't see it but so I guess these four sc screws on this side closer to the uh, controller port it's gonna be the uh, the longer ones which makes sense I think that's how I remembered it last time on my other one so yeah uh, pretty much I got this on a, a second hand store if I haven't mentioned that already um, for a, a whopping $15, which is not bad for a PS2. Most secondhand stores, I'm see, I'm seeing videos recently, and I'm also seeing uh, firsthand that people, uh, or not people, but secondhand stores themselves are charging uh, from the neighborhood of uh, $30 to $50 in some cases, which is not, uh, yeah. If you're selling or buying a PS2, um, you should probably you should probably get it for like, you know, in this condition, I would say ten to fifteen dollars. Probably after when I'm done, kind of, um, in a sense, cleaning it, or you could say refurbishing it. So right now, I'm taking off the uh, the warranty, cutting the warranty sticker. So that that's you know I would I want to say not always it doesn't always mean a good sign that there's a warranty sticker, but if you're buying it used, it's kind of good to know that some amateur somebody didn't mess it up in the process, you know, because they could just mess it up and then they're like ah what I'm gonna do with this and you know they're gonna. They're gonna take it to their local secondhand store. All right, so we're gonna have to take these screws out. That's kind of why I always summarize that, and I didn't have a tripod on my videos because you know someone might find this boring, but if it's your first time watching, it probably does make it interesting to know how to. Take one of these apart. So yeah, kind of the, the drive was, you know, it's just dirty. So I, I, I used the air compressor yesterday and uh, kind of blew it out. I, I don't like buying compressed air just because it's expensive in my opinion. Uh, I, ha I I never found cheap compressed air, you know. Uh, so yeah, I kind of don't like doing kind of this stuff on camera just because it makes you look like a noob every time you do it. So 
So what I'm, I'm doing here is I'm taking it off, hinging it, and then I'm moving it over to the side. And the reason being, there's a ribbon cable that goes to the power connector. So that's just a, a, a tip, a tip for you guys. Because honestly, this 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 ribbon cable, first time I took one of these apart, um, thinking no problem, I don't have to watch videos because, you know, I've done computer repair for quite a while. And uh, yeah, consoles are just a different a different beast, really. Um, so you kind of learn what works, and of course, yeah, if you watch YouTube videos, uh, you're learning from other people's mistakes. If they do make a mistake, if they're just if they haven't watched videos themselves and just going at it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take this whole drive cover off so there's about uh, four screws on the front or on the top I should say um, you know it's I don't really claim to be an expert at this stuff I just you know sometimes I can sound arrogant when I don't mean to so you know just saying hey this is how you do it. I just like to show people how I would do it because everyone has their own way of doing things. And yeah, so I, yeah, it looks probably looks a lot better than it did. What I did uh, is I blew the dust out, you know, from the fan behind. I don't really like to do that because when you get these fans spinning, it could short out your circuit board. Um, believe it or not, when you when you spin a fan, PC fan or any kind of fan in, that's used for cooling and electronics, usually it can uh, generate power, and that power can go straight to the board. But you know, it's it's like one of those things. So it is kind of uh, this uh, plastic piece is magnetic, so it will kind of stick when you try to pull it up. Um, and yeah, I guess here's a good time to plug it in. And I, I'm going to try to do this with no tape or no uh, cuts, guys. So I apologize if you hear me uh, just like hooking stuff up. So I'm going to plug in the power. Just give me one moment. Alright, so I have the uh, power button in the back off. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it on. And then probably see the power indicator light on the lid. So now I just turned it on. And then I'm going to check the drive. See how it's, uh, let me close it. I'm surprised how well it uh, actually works. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this is kind of the, the point where you want to inspect everything and then kind of just clean everything out. So, so I just flipped the power switch just to turn it off. And, uh,. You know, uh, let's see, I'll probably use a screwdriver here just to kind of show you guys. So, you, you, uh, the, the things to look at, uh, let's see if I can zoom, zoom up on it a little bit more. Maybe uh, repositioning my tripod. And then maybe zoom right. So, yeah, so you see all this 
all this crap right here so you'll you'll see crap on this ribbon cable you'll see fuzz balls right here and and all this so one one trick I do well there's a few tricks I do but uh, let me see if I can find it now um, I got here a well let me zoom back out so a tube of white lithium grease so this is what you want to do let me zoom back in and then uh, the second thing you want to do is right here you see this rod I'm going to take this rod off and yeah you have rod, a rod on each side So I, if I remember right, you take both of them out. And you kind of have to be careful again because there's, you know, there's um, what you do is you pick up this laser and you take the rods out. See that rod? Take that out and then take this other rod out so see if I can zoom out a little bit sorry if this video comes out bad uh, I yeah I hope you guys do subscribe because uh, I, I hope to shoot more videos and it is kind of hard or, or, or like just like a video or just view all my videos that will help me out a lot you know I do care if you subscribe but uh, you don't have to as long as you you know tell somebody uh, or like you know just like the video or share it you know if you're not a hobbyist person or it's electronics that's fine don't blame you uh, so what I'm, I'm doing is unbuckling the bell and and then I got the uh, laser assembly out so right here um, on the back of the uh, this laser assembly is I just call them pots at, at potentiometers so these are pots is what people call them so you could adjust the pots to um, I don't know let's say if it's not reading disk right then you can kind of tweak these um, and Kind of get it the way the way you want. Uh, yes, you all, yeah, it's more complicated than that. But yeah, you don't you don't you, if you do tweak them, you like you just give it a kind of just like a quarter of a not even a quarter of a turn, just a slight turn. Let me zoom out again. So yeah, you just you just give it a quarter turn. Uh, not even that. I, I would say an eighth of a turn. It's really 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 minute but if you're if you're just doing the cleaning process like I am now you do a test and um, one of the tests is that I do is I'll find a PS2 game that has a blue um, you know when you look at it, it's blue on the bottom and then uh, that's a CD so that's a CD formatted disc and the DVD ones are are silver Sometimes gold if they're uh, like a dual layer disc. Um, so yeah, you just want probably want to test out with the blue the blue disc, see if it reads it loads up, and um, test it with a uh, silver disc, and then see if it loads up. And if it loads up with both of them, then it just needs a cleaning. Um, if it gets stuck and you get a disc read error, then you might have to do these pots on the back of the laser assembly and you know there's there's probably more advanced videos out there that show you I have done it uh, to my 5000 model PS2 and it, it it's pretty good um, 
So, yeah, I'm about to wrap up this video because, uh, honestly, I'm going to have to blow this out with my air compressor. Um, but what you want to do with lithium grease is you want to, I, I like to put some on, a, on like a, a cotton swab. And then this uh, little worm gear here, adjust the drive up and down. Because you'll see this will layer it right there. And I'll grab the laser and move it up and down, right? So I like to put some grease there. And then uh, what else I like to do is I like to put grease on the on the on the rails. Um, and then the final thing I like to do is get some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, and I'll I'll uh, and of course here's the bottle of it. So I'll I'll put it on this uh, laser and I'll, I'll, I'll wipe it off lightly um, you know and, and the reason why I use alcohol it dries quicker pretty quickly and in all this um, another thing I would suggest doing which I just reminded myself I'm not doing right now is I would if you live in a humid climate probably is not a big deal but I live in Idaho, Idaho so in Idaho it's a dry climate so if you live in Arizona or something it will probably be a dry climate as well. It's, I mean, it's hot right now because it's summertime, but yeah, I can get static buildup and I could zap something. So it's a good idea to wear um, ESD strap. You know, uh, it's one of those straps you can usually find them at uh, electronic stores nowadays. You used to not be able to, um, but nowadays you can. So yeah, I would get an ESD strap and ground yourself. And then uh, yeah, pretty much uh, what you would do is put these um, rails back in after after when you clean them off and grease them. So I'm just doing this as a demonstration, really. And uh, you know, you just want to slide your your laser assembly in. So this one's going to go on the side with the gear, and this one's on the other side. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to get underneath the the track of this of the, the the door and grease that up you know maybe even uh, if you and I forgot how to do this but I think if you somehow you could take the door off yeah if you kind of yeah I think there's a way to take the door off if you want to you know grease it oh yeah I guess it kind of hinges up and then out so yeah I'm probably not gonna mess with it just cuz each PS2 is kind of different so that's why I, I claim not to be the number one expert but you know uh, I would say Sony has built these to a cost you know so there's really you know, there's really nothing to these. These are just kind of sitting in the open. That's why there's so much dust in here and it's not enclosed like you would see in a, a DVD drive for a computer or something. So, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, that's all you have to do. And so, yeah, just make sure you put the laser on. You put the, uh, the uh, ribbon cables back. Ribbon cables, be very careful with them. Uh, if you, if you don't do undo the bail, you know, which are these two little little tabs on each side. Let's see if I can zoom up on that on that. So they're gonna be the Yeah, these two little let's see if I can point them out. And you'll you'll probably understand these two little probably see it pop out now. So these two little black tabs on each side you just push them forward and then your ripping cable comes out so yeah I did one on the ps4 um, what you know the story with that is I was gonna shoot a video but this camera was dead that you that I'm using right now and my other one uh, which is my cell phone uh, I shot on that but it ran out of memory really quickly so you know uh, I guess stuff happens so and then what I like to use to clean it all up uh, I like to use something called uh, 
uh, called Behold, which is kind of like Pledge, but it's kind of meant for multiple, multiple, sorry, multiple surfaces. Um, so yeah, you can use that on the, on the plastics, you know, on the top and bottom, and make it shiny and all that. And you know, it, and if you just like fixing stuff like me and then sell it on, who knows? This might go. This might end up on the auction block on eBay or something. Um, you know, I pay fifteen. I, you know, I, I might I might not sell it just because I won't fetch much for it because I don't like I don't believe in ripping people off. Um, but I'll probably sell it for probably sell it for like 40 plus shipping and shipping when I you know I would say just this the units itself with the no controllers probably probably ten dollars and so yeah I can make a good you know uh, let's see 20 so 15 and 15 is 30 so yeah $25 profit really yeah so not much not much um, yeah, if you really you really have to calculate your shipping when you do it. So, anyways, I'm um, just kind of rambling on. So yeah, just blow all this out. You know, put the um, you know put those two um, rails in. Make sure they're greased and all that. And yeah, do whatever you can. You can grease the drives um, and all. You know, just anything that looks like it needs grease. Just don't get any grease on the on the eye of the laser um, that's why I say use the cotton swabs but other than that yeah I'm kind of rambling so yeah make sure you rate comment subscribe um, I hardly ever get to do videos like this so if you subscribe it'll just make sure you don't miss them because when I do I, I make I, I do like I could do ten in a row and sometimes I do like three or five usually but yeah, it, it depends because I have a limited time to really do them just because I have a full-time job on top of this. So, yeah, I hope this helps someone out. So, if you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment on my channel.